to our storm coverage with News Channel reporter Karen Cruz Orduña. She's been out all morning long. Right now she's live in Santa Barbara at Shoreline Park. And Karen, you found another big down tree. That is right, Elise. Good morning to you. Yes, another tree down at Shoreline Park. And let me mention there are a few tree downs this morning, which is why I'm saying there's another tree down. You can see branches here. And this bench was impacted as well as this tree file. And let me go ahead and pan over, have our photographer Joyce pan over. You can just see roots just lifted up. And this is due to the wind and also the rainfall that's happened over all today and look at all this the roots are lifted it's apps there's a hole basically here because of this tree that's lifted and this is right here at shoreline park and as i mentioned earlier this is not the only tree that's fallen multiple trees have fallen throughout the day today let's first start take a look at your screen here it first started at, at around 4 30 this morning at the exit on the 101 heading southbound uh, near the Carrillo Street location. And let me, like I said, it started at 4.30 this morning and the ramp was completely closed off to drivers. People had to take detours and Caltrans crew members were in the works of removing the large tree from the road. There was also another tree down on Loma Alta and Cliff Drive, taking out some wires and causing power outages. Santa Barbara City College was out of power and the Santa Barbara City Fire Department says safety is so important when it comes to having down wires in the area. So anytime you're near a down wire, stay at least 50 feet away. Um, it's hard to tell if there's another wire down in the tree, so you could be a ways away and the far end of the wire is in the tree. Also, we have a lot of uh, chain link fence. If it's down on a chain link fence or anything metal, that whole thing could be electrocuted. The bridge between the two campuses was closed because the, wi the wires were lying nearby and the Santa Barbara police closed the roads on both ends. Firefighters say if the community sees them at work taking care of the scene, well, it's important to avoid the area and keep moving along as there are trying to clear the scene as quick as possible and they say during these weather conditions well it is really busy for them and let me also emphasize these two incidents on the on-ramp on the 101 southbound close to Carrillo Street where that that scene is clear as well as the scene on Loma Alta and Cliff Drive well as for this scene here well it is still here so they haven't still taken care of it we, we haven't seen any crews in the area for now but it is important to just be on the lookout and just stay safe and you know be on the lookout for any trees if you are in the area because it's going to be a very windy day but for now live in santa barbara i'm news channel reporter karen cruz orduña elise back to you karen thank you and